Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, katika jina le Christo, want to lift up your name. Baba, tunataka kuliinua jina lako. The Holy One of Israel, Baba, we mtakatifu wa Israeli. We call upon your name today. Baba, tunaliitia jina lako siku ya leo. Want to put this function in your right hand. Baba, tunataka kuweka want to put the team in your mighty hand. Baba, nataka kuweka kikundi katika mikono zako. Who is going to lead us for today? Baba, yeye ambaye anaenda kutuongoza siku ya leo. Along with the team we ask your grace Baba, to fill this sanctuary right now. We ask the grace of God to fill every area. We thank you for today Baba, for guiding them from far land to become a blessing in this country. Lord, we are one. Because Lord, you said that how good are the blessings for the brethren to dwell together in unity. And today, Father, we want to see that unity and the Bible is continued. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
and not the faith. So we thank God for the prayer. We have Reverend John to do our responsive reading. We have Reverend John to do our responsive reading. Thank you. Asante, your grace. We uh, want to give thanksgiving and response reading. Mary. Rejoice in the Lord. All ye righteous. For praise is comely from the upright. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of the Holy One. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name is alone. He is exalted. His glory is above and heavens. And heavens. I will exalt thee, my God. Mungu wangu. O King, mfame, and I will bless thy name na pia jina la. forever and ever. Uh, milele na milele. Bless thy mercy, Wacha rehema zako. O Lord, o be upon us according, accordingly Sieze kuwa juu yetu kusia, as we hope in thee. Wakati ambapo na pozi tazamia. Mungu wa mwana wa bariki. Amen. Amen, amen. We thank God for the word. Tunashukuru Mungu wa sababu ya leo. Hallelujah. Which is light. Ambalo ni uzima. The heaven and earth will pass away. Oh, ambalo meza kuinuliwa. But God word is going to stand forever. Ya kwamba bwana ataishi milele. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just do some praise in here. We come to celebrate. Tunataka kumshukuru bwana kwa kutusifu bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pigie bwana shangwe na mbele kwa haleluya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Relax. Tulia. Bishop, I'm free to come. As go for Pastor, Pula. yes, come and do our welcome recognition of our guests. Kwa ajili ya kuweza kutambuzi kwa ajili ya wageni wetu. Jofri. Jofri wa Pula karibu kwa ajili ya kutambuzi wa wageni. Praise God. Bwana asitiwe. I just want to take this time and to thank each and every one of us who come in this occasion. We the faith and holiness outreach. This kama imani na utakatifu and deliverance ministries. Na ukombozi, apostolic worship center. Uduma ya kiutume na uabudu or international katika hali ya kimataifa we welcome you here tungependa kuwakaribisha hapa all of you ninyi nyote the bishops maskofu doctors madaktari reverends au uh, makuhani uh, pastors wachungaji and all leaders na pia viongozi wote and every guest of pia kwa ajili ya kila mgeni and families na jamii of and family members na pia jamii of Pastor Moses and Thomas mchungaji Musa pamoja na Thomas to this installation ceremony kwa ajili ya hii nafasi ya kuweza kuwekwa wakfu that is going to take place ambaye inaenda kuchukua nafasi and be presided over na pia ambaye inaenda kuongozwa by our general overseer by yule general overseer mwangalizi mkuu apostle Faith Pasiti um, to make uh, if paper city who is right now with us here yule ambaye hapo pamoja na stupidia bwana makofi Therefore, welcome all of you kwa hivyo karibu nyote and be with us in this program mweze kwa pamoja nasi katika ibada hii Welcome. Karibu sana. And may God bless each and every one of us. Na Mungu amani aweze kuwabariki kwa jina kila mmoja. As we watch this ceremony. Wakati ambapo tunapotazamia na kusherekea pia. Welcome each of us. Karibuni sana kwa jina kila mmoja. And God bless us all. Na Mungu amani awabariki sisi zote. Mpigie bwana makofi. Hallelujah. Welcome. Karibu sana. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give 
praise. I said, let's give our God a praise. <laughs> And we want to celebrate Jesus. Today we are celebrating. And we are not mourning. So I just want to hear somebody celebrate Jesus. Let us give our hands to Jesus. I should find me rock all today, today. Today, today, I should find me rock today, today. 
to do the task that the Lord has given them to do. To install our senior pastor and our assistant pastor of the faith of holiness outreach and deliverance ministry. So I will continue to stand until I will have read the scriptures. Yeah, I will have read them, you may be seated. I want to say to my interpreters, yes, I want to say to my interpreters, say exactly what I said. Yashua na sema kile ambacho na choki sema. Say what you want to say. Ni sema kile ambacho itaji kusema. Sema kile ambacho na itaji kusema. Amen. Book of Exodus, chapter 30, Exodus, yeah, chapter 30, kutoka de la dini. we'll be reading from verses 30. Kwanzia mstari wa de la dini. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister to me as priests. And you shall speak to the children of Israel saying, this shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. Kutoka deladini kwanzia tenye deladini nasema kwamba nawe utawatia mafuta haruni na wanawe na kuatakaza ili watumikie watumi katika kazi ya ukuhani. Kalatina moja nasema kwamba nawe utanena na wana wa Israeli na kuambia haya yatakuwa ni mafuta matakatifu ya, ya kutiwayo kwa ajili yangu mimi katika vizazi vienu vyote. Now we will read from the book of Acts Tutaka pia chapter 20 Tuangalia pia kitabu cha Jamateto Jamatendo and verses 28 20:28 Therefore take heed to yourselves and to all the flock among you which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God which he purchased with his own blood Matendo ya mitume 20 28 yasema kwamba tujunzeni nafsi zenu na lile kundi lote nalo ambalo Roho Mtakatifu ameowekeni ninyi kuwa kuangalisi ndani yake pate kulisha kanisa lake Mungu alilo mua kwa damu yake mwenyewe Sana. That we all can understand. But I'm here today not to speak to the entire congregation. 
Naandiko hapa sio kuzungumza tu kwa watu wote. But I'm here to speak to our two kids. Lakini nataka kuzungumzia kwa hawa watu wawili. Pastor Moses, mchungaji Musa, and Pastor Tony. Na mchungaji Mose. Uh, who have stepped forward wale ambao wamekuja mbele in the kingdom of God. Katika ufalme wa Mungu. For such a time as this. Kwa hiyo wakati kama huu. You have stepped forward. Umeenda kuja mbele to say to the Lord. Ili uweze kumwambia Bwana. Ya kwamba umeitikia mwisho. Umekuja mbele and say to the Lord. Mwambie Bwana. Ya kwamba nitachoka kwa ndoa zako. Unakuja mbele. Ili umwambie Bwana. Ya kwamba nitachukumika kwa ajili ya kupeleka injili ya Yesu katika ulimwengu wote. Na ninajua ya kwamba una uwezo wa kwamba jinsi Bwana anavyowaanisha katika sehemu yako. Katika kitabu cha kutoka chapter 30 and verses 30. Na lathini na lathini Bible speaks about Biblia simulizia wakati ambapo Aroni alianza kuendea wanawake ambapo alikuwa hata kuwekea mafuta ili kwenda kuwakilisha ili katika masaya ya Mungu na kuweza kuwatenga na maisha yao na kazi ya dunia ili ambayo Mungu alikuwa ameenda kutengea nina kusungumzia that today na kwamba siku ya leo wale ambao wamekuja hapa mbele na mnaambia Bwana na pia na pia kwa kanisa ya kwamba ninasimama kwa Bwana nitafanya kile ambacho Bwana ameelekeza nitahubiri njiri nikaishi maisha matakatifu nikaishi katika utakatifu kwa sababu ya Bwana ya kwamba tulinua mikono ya kwamba katika moyo mwa kamilifu na katika kitabu cha matendo chapter 20 and verses 28 it talks about the shepherd inasumuzia kuhusiana na kondoo talks about the flock inasumuzia kuhusiana na kuchunga na kuchunga kondoo and it is saying na inasema that the shepherd ya kondo mchungaji is responsible anashukumu for the well-being kwa ajili ya kuwalinda kondoo today you are step Na wewe tena 
kuongoza jinsi wakati ambapo kondoo inapokufuata nyuma yako hii ni masaa ndani ya maisha yako wakati ambapo unachilia kila kitu hii ni nafasi katika maisha yako wakati ambapo umekuja mbele and everything concerning you na kila kitu ambacho kinachohusiana na wewe imeza kuwekwa kando everything concerning the law na kile kitu ambacho kiko kwa sababu ya Bwana na ile ile kondoo ama kuja ambayo anaweza kupatia inakuja la kwanza Bible says to take up your cross and follow. mziko wako na uchukue msalaba wako na umfuate. Ni kwa ajili ya chuku mwanako kwa ajili ya kwa sababu. lazima waende kuwafundisha jinsi wanaweza kuchukua msalaba wao. Na kuufuata Yesu Kristo. The Bible says, Biblia inasema that from the head kutoka katika kichwa kutoka katika demu zake na pia kupita katika mkono wakati ambapo unapokuwa uweza kuongoza ya kwamba angalia kundi so if you are a praying leader kama wewe ni mtongoji wa ukwamba lazima uweze kuwa na kundi lile ambalo unaomba kama wewe ni mchungaji ambao unaomba lazima pia kanisa likuwe linaomba kama wewe ni kiongozi wa hekima lazima pia kundi lako liweze kuwa na hekima mahali ambapo ambapo umeenda kuweka kusima inaenda katika kundi hiyo ndio sababu ni chukumu lako kuachini ya kuongoza watu wa Mungu katika hali ya kweli kulingana na neno la Mungu sio kulingana na maneno yako sio kulingana na chizo unachoishi sio kulingana na maneno yako sio kulingana na maisha yako lakini kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu tenda mapenzi ya Mungu fanya mapenzi ya Mungu tenda mapenzi ya Mungu na utaona Mungu anakuinua haleluya Lord says, who can I send? Bana nasema ni tatuma nani? Who will go? Na ani anda atakaye enda nasi. In your heart you have said here I am Lord send me. Katika moyo wako nasema kwamba niko mahali hapa Bwana nitume mimi. You have said here I am Lord. Unasema kwamba hapa Bwana nitume mimi. The thing about answering the call of God jambo lile ambalo nasumuzia kuhusiana na mwito wa Mungu is that you don't know the process that it will take you. kwamba hauchui namna ile njia ambayo atakayokupitishia. You know your beginning because you're there. Unajua kwamba mwanzo wako uko hapo. And you can desire your ending where you like to be. Na pia unatamania mwisho wako jinsi unataka uweze kukua. But you do not know the process. Lakini haujui unapitia njia gani ambayo unataka kupitia wewe mwito wako lazima kuna mapita ambao wanayapitia au twin mapita ina gani and when you are in god lakini wakati ambapo katika mungu na kwamba ile mapito sio rahisi hivyo sio rahisi ni kwa sababu kwenye uko sasa it looks as if it's not going to work out ya kwamba sio kile kitu ambacho unaweza ukifanyia kazi lakini ukimtumainia mungu Daudi hakuelewa rafiki 
zake na jamii yake when he went into his secret place lakini alienda mahala pasirini and he sought na akaanza kusumbuka na Mungu until he heard the voice of God na akasema kwa maana kasikiza sauti ya Mungu it is important as leaders ni vyema kama viongozi that you seek God first lazima utafute Mungu wako wa kwanza because on this journey of kwa sababu po katika safari hii you are carrying a heavy load ya kwamba kuna mziko ambao ni mzito the lord of everyone that is a part of the ya kwamba kila mtu ambaye sehemu kwa ajili ya kanisa and you won't be able to say to god i don't want it anymore now ngamwambia mungu ya kwamba siwezi tena mungu i throw in the towel lakini unaingia katika ile nara ya kwamba atiteongoza watu kulingana anavyonielekeza ninapokuja katika vita wakati ambapo
so that I can do the assignment ile ambalo Mungu ameweza kupatia because when you are installing wakati ambapo anapoenda kuweka there must be an impartation lazima kuwe na upachiko an impartation na upachiko inatokana katika mkono wakati ambapo aliposafiri kutoka kule Bamas ili aweze kuweka mikono yake juu yenu ili kwa ajili ya jienu kupachika it means that i am extending grace inamaanisha kwamba anaachilia neema and support ana ana pia kusaidia and i have proven na pia kudhibitisha and i have seen their works na maona kazi that they are able ile ambayo mna uwezo to carry the ministry ambayo unaweza kutajali na huduma and today na pia siku ya leo we will officially na kwa hapa kwa uh, tuko hapa Gold and sash ya kuweza kudhibitisha kwa mchungaji msa na pia mchungaji msaidizi Thomas katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen so tupigie tu bwana mapofu amen ndipenda kwa waomba usimame juu simameni juu hawa watu hawa watu hawa hawa watu wawili and now going to do the charge sasa anaenda kwa hakimu i will receive the lord jesus christ as savior having openly confessed ya kwamba ninampokea yesu kristo na wazi nina your faith in him imani yako katika yeye and having demonstrated your faith na pia kudhibitisha imani through baptism kupitia ubatizo in the name of the father katika jina la baba son na mwana and holy ghost na roho mtakatifu in the presence of god katika uwepo wa mungu and this assembly na pia katika kusanyiko hili do you what you confess mchungaji Musa and Pastor Thomas na pia mchungaji Thomas so I fully enter pia kuingia katika furaha into the covenant katika hali ya ndivitishi kwa ajili ya mwili wa Yesu Kristo pigie bwana mapofu je unadhibitisha yes thank you by the power and the aid of the holy ghost kwa nguvu ya roho mtakatifu Do you commit yourselves sasa ni nafaa kwa kudhibitisha to the work to the to the work to work together kufanya kazi pamoja the fellowship na pia kuoshirika Christian love na wewe ushirika upendo to promote ili kuweza kuinua the edification na pia kuguza of the ministry of the knowledge kwa ajili ya huduma wa hekima of holiness na katika utakatifu comfort na kwenda mbele and regular contribution na pia kusaidia kuweka pamoja to support of the ministry kusaidia pia huduma and expenses of the church na pia yale mahitaji ya kanisa to the relief of the poor na pia kwa ajili ya and the spreading of the gospel na pia kutangaza neno la Mungu katika ulimwengu kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu kwa tayari amen Are you committed to watch over one another? Je, uko tayari kwa ajili ya kuweza kuangalia pamoja mwingine? In Christian love, katika hali ya upendo wa Kristo, to pray for one another, kuombea moja kwa mwingine, to assist one another, kusaidia moja kwa mwingine, in time of need, katika wakati wa hitaji, to be compassionate to the poor, pia kwa ajili ya kuwa ruhuma kwa moja kwa mwingine, courteous in speech pia katika hali ya kuongozwa katika maneno yako slow to take offense pia kuwa kutokuwa mwepesi wa kuchukua hatua but quick for reconciliation lakini kwa haraka kwa ajili ya urejesho according to the scripture kulingana na maandiko moreover saidia yote do you enter this covenant naweza kuingia katika agano hili to uphold the faith na pia kwa ajili ya kuweza kuangalia that was once delivered ya kwamba moja kwa 
kuolewa to the saints pia katika hali ya ushirika and be governed na pia kukusanyika by the principles accordingly na pia kulingana na maandiko je mko tayari I willingly do affirm my license vow believing in Jesus Christ the son of the living God and accepting the holy scriptures as inspired of God through the holy spirit it is my sincere desire to bring credit and not dishonor to the office that i now stand in by jesus christ our lord sto pia tu bwana makofi We are now have the robing of the pastors who's robing pastor Moses can come who's robing pastor Thomas can come let us go come we
This is the stone. E kwa sheria. The stone goes around the neck. Ya kwamba hii inazungwa kwenye shingo. It represents the yoke. And of in onesha kwamba ile jira, jira. Because you are he has now yoked you to him. Ni kwa sababu yeye amekunganishwa na yeye. Sasa tuwe kufunge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now by yourself. What? Oh, stand, 
simama kwa mbingu zangu simama tu huko mtu asiguse wewe mwenyewe simama
Yeye ni kama baba wa nyumba sasa. Called to the ministry, 
na hujuma abuse of the bible's doctrine na pia kufundisha mafundisho ya biblia pastor thomas mchungaji thomas Pastor Thomas wa Mkota Aya Aya mama anaeka saidi sasa Mchungaji Thomas utaanza then senior pastor Moses Alafu ndeni senior pastor Moses Tumtoto neno lanyi 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. I want to thank Almighty God. Nataka kuchukua fursa hii kumshukuru Mungu. For this fire has brought me. Ambaye umbali ambaye ameweza kumleta. It is not easy. Sio rahisi. It has required hard time. Imemgarimu wakati mgumu. Na pia mkono wa Mungu. I want also to appreciate my wife. Ah nataka kumshukuru mke wake. And my family. Na pia jamii yake. For accompanying me here. Na pia kwa ajili ya kukuja pamoja nami siku ya leo. This big day that the Lord has made. Kwa ajili ya hii siku kwa ambayo Mungu ameifanya. I want also to appreciate our Ah, uh, pia kushukuru kwa mtume mkuu, our general officer, ambaye pia ni mwangalizi mkuu uh, wa huduma hii, of faith and holiness and deliverance ministry. Kwa ajili faith and holiness outreach and deliverance ministry. Kwa ajili ya huduma au majina hiyo ambayo ameweza kuyatatia. Apostolic worship center. We want to thank all the team work company. Anataka kushukuru pia kwa ajili ya kikundi chote ambacho kichounganika pamoja nae. Sao Bahamas. Kule Bahamas toka Bahamas they will not remain the same hawatabaki jinsi walivyo i want also to thank the feasting pastors nataka pia kushukuru kwa ajili ya wachungaji feasting bishop wachungaji ambao wametutembelea bishop michael maskofu uh, askofu mkuu michael afula and our senior pastor moses na pia mchungaji pastor moses for this great day ambao kwa ajili ya siku hii kuu really broke my heart ambao imevunja moyo wangu that's really broke my heart imevunja moyo wangu to be here today kwa ajili ya kuweza kwa Marihaba. May the Lord bless all of the people who have come. Wacha Mungu akabariki watu wote ambao wamekuja. I want also to appreciate our brother Ken Muricho. Anda kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mdogo wake. Who are alive today right now. Ambaye pia ameweza kufika saa hizi kushuhudia. Kwa wacha Mungu ambariki sana. Pastor Ken from Kisi all the way from Kisi. Mchungaji kutoka Kisi. We want to thank you so much. Asante kwa kushukuru sana. God will pay you for what you have spent to come here. Mungu atakubariki kwa kila ambacho unaweza kutumia kuja hapa. Umeza kujitolea. Umetumia kutumia magari. The Lord bless you so Mungu akubariki sana. My name is Pastor Thomas Wamalwa. Yeye anaitwa mchungaji Thomas Wamalwa, assistant pastor. Yeye ni mchungaji msaidizi. Yeah. Amen. Pastor Moses. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I'm so very happy to be here today. Ya kwamba na furaha sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Because the Lord has done. Ni kwa sababu kwa yale ambayo Mungu amefanya. We have been waiting for a long time. We are tumekuwa tukingoja siku hii kwa muda mrefu. We have been praying. Tumekuwa tukiomba to ask God what will be going to happen. Na kumuuliza Mungu kile ambacho kinaenda kutendeka. I want to thank all our guest from Bahamas. Na napenda kushukuru wageni wote kutoka Bahamas. Wale ambao wamekuja na kusimama pamoja nasi. mama ambaye ni mzazi, mama Faith. So Tunakushukuru sana for you to stand with us kwa ajili ya kusimama pamoja nasi. Angependa pia kuchukua fursa hii. Thank all the members. Akushukuru washirika wote. Na pia jumuiya ya kwa jumla. Ambao wamekuwa mahali hapa kwa siku tatu. Na Mungu ameweza kuifanya. Nataka kuchukua fursa hii kusema asante sana. Our neighbors, kwa ajili ya majirani zetu, our friends, marafiki, our members. Na pia washirika wetu. Nasema Mungu amani awabariki sana. Nataka kuchukua fursa hii pia. Our fellow pastors. Kushukuru pia kwa ajili ya wachungaji wenzetu ambao wameweza kuja ili tukatumike pamoja. Nataka kushukuru pia askofu mkuu Mike. Ambaye amekuwa baraka juu ya maisha yetu hapa Kenya. Nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hayo. I know also you know you very well. Anajua kwamba anakujua vyema sana. And we thank God for, for that. Anashukuru Mungu kwa ajili hayo. I want to thank God for Pastor Ken. Ashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mchungaji Ken. Along from Kitale. Ambaye pia anatoka mchini Kitale. He say may the Lord bless you. Kwa maana yakubariki sana. For this occasion that you have Kwa ajili ya kuweza kuingia kushuhudia nafasi hii. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So I just want to also to thank my family. Anataka pia kushukuru jamii yake. Together with my wife. Pamoja na mke wake. She has been uh, supporting me in prayers. Anayekuwa akimsimama naye katika maombi. The ministry katika huduma in Africa katika kila jambo. I say let me the Lord bless them. 
upande wa bariki sana katika jina la Yesu pamoja na wazazi wake nasema Mungu wangu anawabariki angependa kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mchungaji Tom amekuwa wa baraka katika kanisa hili amekuwa akitoka mbali mpaka mbali hapa ili tuweze kuangalia mawazo yetu pamoja ili huduma ya Mungu iweze kuimarishwa kwa mchungaji Thomas Mungu amana wabariki. Mungu abariki jamii yako. Let's continue pray. Na pia tuendelee kumbea. Lastly, jambo la mwisho. I just want to thank to thank all leadership of this church. Na napenda kushukuru kwa ajili ya uongozi wa huduma huu. Also they have been a blessing. Na pia wamekuwa baraka. They can be stand up. Mnaweza mkasimama tu tafadhali. Uongozi wote wa kanisa hili. Na pia kuna wengine but we say Mother Lord bless you. Asema Mungu amana wabariki sana. Because they have been supportive in this ministry. Sababu mmekuwa katika msaada katika huduma. I want to thank also our pastor from Kisi. Nataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya mchungaji kutoka Kisi. It's very far. Ni mbali sana kutoka hapa. It takes about two days on the way. Anaichukua hata siku mbili kwa barabara. But we say Mother Lord bless you. Asante Mungu amana wakubariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Also the team of praise and worship. Akikundi cha wana sifa. We have seen the power of God and the Tumewashuhudia nguvu za Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say may the Lord bless you so much. Nasema Mungu amana wabariki sana. I don't have much more to speak. Sina mengi ya kunena. Ah, I'm so very happy. Nina furaha kubwa sana. I'm so very happy. Nina furaha kubwa sana. I'm so very happy. Nina furaha kubwa sana. I'm so very happy. Nasema nina furaha. I'm so very happy. Kupigia Bwana hapa ajili ya furaha hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given. Praise God. I just want to hand over the microphone to microphone to Baba. Nataka aweze kurudisha kipanza sauti. Ah you know people that are just asking me on yesterday. Ah watu walikuwa wanamuuliza siku ya jana. Oh mama she know how to dance. Ah kama mama anajua sana kucheza. She take about one hour here to dance. Ah kuchukua tu lisali moja kucheza tu. One is as few. Amen. So we say may the Lord bless you. Nasema Mungu amana wabariki. After this one we are going to make a treatment. Ah mahali baada yetu tunaenda kufanya matibabu. And may the Lord bless you so much. Na Mungu amana wabariki sana. Asante sana. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for Dr. Charity for who traveled along with us. Ana mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya daktari Charity ambaye alia safari pamoja nasi. Who have been seen from out the community ambaye amekuwa akihudumia jamii hapa na pia nazi joy asanti na nazi jamilia wametoka huko mbali yote kutoka bahamas ili kuujili kwa ajili ya kuja kwa ajili ya taifa letu supigia tu bwana makofi amen thank you so much amen, amen. Na pia wataendelea. Na pia wataendelea na hiyo huduma ambayo wamekuwa nayo. Amen. Wacha tuweze kuinamisha vichwa vyetu na tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We thank you right now. Baba tunakushukuru hivi sasa. We thank you for what has been Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kuweza kusaidia. We thank you God that you have established your servant. Baba tunashukuru kwa sababu We thank you God that your people have come to witness. We thank you for your power and your grace. We thank you for your mercies and your power. 